G'day and welcome to our Notability app highlight. Now I've been raving about this uh, app for ages after testing a heap of comparable apps. Um, Notability keeps on improving and the latest improvement is awesome. So let's check it out. Now first of all, this is a Notability note about Notability. Um, Notability has so many great features allowing for all sorts of content to be added into your notes. If you wirelessly project as well, your iPad, then it's even more awesome for teaching as you have mobility around the room. And it really blows any board notes completely out of the water. Now looking around Notability, you'll see a couple of uh, main features. Okay, first of all, dividers, um, which pull subjects together, subjects, which pull notes together, and notes, which pull ideas together. Um, you can edit and organize these however you like as well. You can obviously add content into Notability. Uh, the most common is text, and if you use the T up the top, it drops text in line, okay? But I usually find it better to use the little plus symbol, all right, at the top, and put a typing sticky in, because then you can move it around how you want. But we'll cover that uh, in a little while. All right, obviously adding handwriting and drawings in, what you'll see is the pencil at the top when you select it. When you hold it down, you can change the ink type, the size, the colour and so on, but the real power comes about when you go to the little magnifying glass at the bottom right, and you click on that, and you can write comfortably as you like, all right, and yet it drops it in the top at the size you want, depending on the size of the box, okay, and where you have the box, all right, and what ink and so on you've, uh, you've selected. Now, you can also zoom in and write if you want, okay, so if I can write uh, okay, we can write small here, all right, and then zoom back out. But if you're projecting that, that doesn't work so well. Uh, there's also a palm guard at the bottom right, okay, that allows you to rest your arm in that gray area, uh, your hand, but I find it's easier just to rest on the table in actual fact. Now, there are other elements that you can obviously add onto the page as well, okay, and a lot of these are in the plus at the top. You can see that the first one, you can obviously add a photo. That's what I've done there, the picture that you'll see there. All right, the next one down is a web clip. And when you add a web clip in, what actually happens is you end up with an area, so web clip over on the left here, and it actually allows you to open that clip in a browser as well, which is pretty neat. Okay, and the other one is plus is the stickies, and there's all sorts of stickies here. All right, but stickies basically group a whole lot of elements together as you move them around. And you can see here, uh, I've got a, one sticky here, for instance, with some notes that I can uh, move around the page. It was a typing sticky. Now, you can also uh, add audio recording on the bottom of the page. I don't normally do it because it doesn't actually output with the PDF when I'm wanting to share it. Um, but the fact is that what it does is that you can tap on a word or a picture to listen to what was said at that time. Uh, other really cool features that you can open notes in or import from things like Dropbox and so on. Um, you can open uh, no, uh, Word documents, PDFs, spreadsheets, PowerPoints, all sorts in it. And in actual fact what happens, each, point, uh, each page actually just opens as a background graphic, but it's still pretty useful for annotating. So let's have a look at an example here for instance. Um, if I go, I'm using this uh, symbol at the top right, import in, all right, if I go import from my Google Drive and I've got a document that needs to be signed there, please sign, I click on that and what it's doing is it creates it as a new note and when I go and open that new note, okay, you can see I can scroll down to it wherever I want, okay, it's saying your signature here, all right, beautiful. All right, I'm going to sign it in red. No, I'm going to sign it in blue. And I've just done my magnifying glass area. All right, a bit of Rolfonzo. Beautiful. Okay, you get the idea. And at the end of it, all right, I'm wanting to um, send this. So I'm going to the top left here, and I'm going to send out. This time I'm going to email it as a PDF. All right, and there I've got my signed document ready to go. You can see Rolfonzo written on it, and I could send that. But I'm not going to. Okay, so 
Back to our note, all right, final uh, thing with this that really sort of blows it out of the water for me uh, is that you can actually export, save, and share your notability notes really easily uh, with a whole lot of service, either email or save it as you saw, Dropbox or, or whatever. So here you can see Dropbox, Google Drive, Twitter, Box, WebDev, enable files if you've got them, all right, uh, which is super. Um, or you can open it straight into things like other learning management systems and so on. So we've got Canvas, for instance. You can open it straight into Canvas for online submission. Um, the real, real clinch for me, though, is that Notability synchronizes as notes or as PDF the whole time. Um, into my, I do mine into Google Drive, but it could be Drive or Dropbox or whatever. And that means you've actually got a synchronized version across all of those. And a big one now is that Notability also works on other iDevices with iCloud synchronization. So it's actually saving as you go and you can continue on on, an, on another device, which is very neat indeed. So in closing, um, you might have picked up that I quite like this, uh, this app, all right? But I'd really encourage you to, to give it a go, all right? It's certainly worth it. Uh, so enjoy and we'll see you next time.